International Relations and Cooperation Minister Naledi Pando is leading the SA delegation at the 8th Tokyo International Conference on African Development Summit. The two-day summit has brought together delegates from across the continent, including the African Development Bank Group. It's focused on cementing relations between Japan and Africa and also mapping a pathway for African development in the post-pandemic era. For more on what's coming out of the summit, let's go to Tunisia now to speak to Minister Naledi Pando. Minister, good afternoon and thank you very much for your time. You know, there's never been a more crucial time than this post-pandemic era to prioritize development on the continent. But perhaps let's start with the close relationship between Africa and Japan, particularly Japan's role in the African Development Bank. Can you talk us through this? Well, essentially, um, South Africa and several African countries have had very close relations uh, with Japan, uh, these uh, relations resulted in the establishment of what is called uh, the International Conference on Africa's Development, the DICAD. Uh, this meeting is the uh, 29th uh, year of uh, this collaboration. We meet every three years as uh, the summit of TICAD, either in an African country or in Japan, and it has resulted in a range of development initiatives supported by Japan on the African continent. Mm -hmm. The African Development Bank is often uh, the deposit institution for the development support uh, that Japan provides to various African countries. And this support is directed toward priorities that are uh, set out by African countries and agreed with Japan uh, either through bilateral or more directly in the context of uh, TICAD. Mm -hmm. Then to the key focus areas at the summit currently, what are some of the outcomes? What has been discussed? Oh, we seem to have lost the minister there. Very important summit taking place, two-day summit there. Really, the minister just emphasizing the relationship between Africa and Japan, a very strategic relationship. And as I stated there a bit earlier, more important now that Africa develops and takes advantage in strengthening some of those relationship post the pandemic. We'll try and reestablish that line with the minister just to get some of the outcomes from that particular summit. Still to come.